have. Uh, look into a few more shoulder exercises because there's mm -hmm. been a few requests for um, putting some love and attention into our shoulders. But we're going to need some props for this, and they're very easy props. We all have them in our house, hopefully. Uh, one is a wall, and the other is a chair or a raised surface. So it could be a coffee table, it could be a chair, it could be your sofa. Uh, however that feels, um, or wherever that works out best for you. Um, and we're going to use those, uh, not directly one after another, but we'll eventually use one and then the other. So if you need to reposition yourself closer to those things, we're just going to get up and walk over to them in that time. Perfect. So a wall and a raised surface is what's going to serve us today for our practice. Good morning, good morning. But before we get into all of that fun stuff, we're just going to start in our seat. So we can take a moment to arrive and to settle into ourselves, to come home to our breath. So you can sit wherever you're comfortable, whether that is cross-legged, whether that is kneeling, just coming to a comfortable seat. Perhaps closing the eyes. And taking a moment to arrive into your practice, into this space. And then if you need, take a deep breath in through the nose and a big audible sigh. Like opening the window, letting the wind come in and clear away the stale air, the stale energy in our body. So do that as many times as you need. Maybe it's just the once, maybe it's none, maybe it's several times. Deep breath in through the nose and the clearing out with a sigh. And eventually let everything settle. Shoulders dropping down away from the ears. And finding a rhythm of your breath, breathing in, feel your belly rise and expand all the way to the heart. And two more low breaths, settling in. And as we connect with the breath, we connect more deeply towards ourselves, into our body, to our heart, to our mind. And then on our next inhale, we're gonna reach the arms upwards to the sky, bringing the palms together above the head. You might look up to the thumbs if that suits your neck. And then as we exhale, drop the arms back down, fingertips all the way to the floor. Inhaling, lifting the arms up, palms facing up. So the shoulder heads roll back, palms touch. And as we exhale, start to bring the hands down, palms face towards the floor. Now continue doing this, continue breathing as you move and just pay attention to your shoulder blades and what's happening in the shoulders. Remember the rotation of your hands. Good. And then can you try to engage a little bit more with your shoulder blades? So as we lift the arms up, can you just squeeze them a little bit? And then when the hands come together, you'll feel them separate and open. And as the arms come back down, you can feel the shoulder blades moving down the back, slightly drawing in together. And let's leave the hands here. We're going to pick up the right shoulder and lift it up towards the ear, pull it back, slide it down. And a couple more circles like this. And thinking not just about the shoulder, but about the whole shoulder blade. And then reverse that and take it around the other way, opposite direction. 
thinking about the shoulder blade moving on your back and then just let the shoulder settle and then let's move to the other side left shoulder lifts to the ear pull it back and then slide it down and as we're moving connect and stay connected to your breath and then let's reverse that take that around the opposite direction too Big movements, again, feel the shoulder blade, the upper back, and let both shoulders rest down. Let's squeeze both of them up towards the ears. And a big exhale, drop them with a thud. Inhale again, slow, like you're going up an elevator, squeeze through your ears, and a quick exhale, quick drop. A few more times, inhale, squeeze and lift, slow, 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 like going up an elevator. Keep going, keep going, keep squeezing. Exhale, drop. One more time. Good, and then let them stay heavy. Just relax and just notice your hands on the floor. Maybe they even feel like they're more grounded to the floor now. The shoulders are starting to release a little bit more. Ew. We're going to take our hands now to our knees and getting about the shoulders for a moment, just moving down into the lower body, make our little circle. Say good morning to the hips and the back. Take your breath with you. So as you inhale, we go forward. As we exhale, we go back and around. And then reverse those circles. Take them around in the other direction. And then coming back to your center, hands and arms are gonna reach out in front of you. Breath in as we lift the heart. Exhale, a forward fold, stretching into the hips and into the back. Keep your arms really stretched out long. And if we can, stay up on your fingertips, no matter where you are in your fold. Keep the arms long, stay up on your fingertips and roll the armpits in towards each other. Take a moment there so you're really lengthening through the back through the arms, stretching the arms out in front of you. Good, take two more breaths there. Okay, and now we're gonna walk our hands back, walking our hands back in towards the leg, and then change whichever foot is in front, change that to the back. So whichever foot was in front, change it to the back. Walk your hands back behind you, fingertips facing in towards your hips. We're gonna roll the shoulders back and lift the chest to the sky. Inhale, press straight down into the hand. As we exhale, let the chest sink and let your chin drop towards your chest. Inhale, open up the chest, roll the shoulders back. Feel the shoulder blades squeeze together. And then exhale, chin back towards chest. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, chin back towards the chest. Perfect, let's walk our hands back towards our hips, hands onto the knees. Let's make our circles, waking up that opposite hip. Inhale as we take it around. Exhaling forward. And then reverse, take it around the opposite direction, the other way. Really feel that you're moving all around your seat. And the next time we come back through center, extend the arms and the hands in front of you, breath and lift. And then as we exhale, walking ourselves forward. And when you reach your maximum hold, extend the arms and reach the hands forward even more. Come up onto your fingertips. Spin the armpits towards one another. The shoulders roll open across the upper back. Keeping our hips heavy and breathe, breathe, breathe into your back. Okay, let's walk our hands back in. And this time we're gonna come to all fours, onto our hands and knees. So however you can get into that position, Hands directly under shoulders, knees under hips, and then wag the tail. Wiggle the hips side to side. 
get as much movement as possible in the spine. Hmm, maybe take that movement all the way up to the neck. Definitely into your shoulders. Feel your shoulders moving. And those shoulder blades dancing on the back body. Perfect. We're going to take our knees wide. Sit the hips back towards the heels and let the forehead melt down. Sending the arms forward for our wide-legged child's pose. And let the elbows just rest to the floor for a moment. Feel that extension through the sides of the waist. Deepening breath into back body. We're going to bring the palms of the hands together. Taking the hands into a prayer pose, walk the elbows in a little bit closer to the sides of the head and then lift the fingertips upwards towards the sky. Breathing here into the tricep stretch. Opening up maybe even more down the front body, down to the sides of the ribs, into the upper back. Maybe we can even take our thumbs to the back of our head or towards the neck. I'm taking one more breath here. And then releasing the hands down, rising up. Come back to all fours. This time, tuck the toes with the hips and press yourself back into your downward facing dog. Bending the knees, giving them a little march out. Spread the fingers. Good. So if you're going to move away from where you are now, maybe walk your hands back towards your feet, come into a forward fold. If you're gonna stay where you are, just come back down to your seat and turn towards your wall. So we're gonna need our wall now. Coming to your forward fold, we're gonna drop the weight into the heels, roll ourselves up. Those who need to move around in our space to find a wall that is suitable. Oh, and give those shoulders another roll. Okay, and then situate yourself facing a wall or facing any flat surface you might have Another piece of furniture that if you were seated in front of it, <clears throat> you could reach out to it and you could just use this surface in front of you. Maybe you have something like that that isn't a wall. <laughs> Do we have anything? <laughs> Basically, we're going to need it to put a little bit of pressure into it with our hand. So maybe it could be like the edge of your sofa, like a, the, the side, the arm of your sofa. Okay, hopefully you can see, perfect. So we're facing our wall. And then what we're gonna do is just take the hand up the wall. So you wanna be close enough that you can touch the wall and put just a little bit of pressure. But you don't wanna to be too close that you can't do this now, sliding the hand down the wall. It's very simple. We're just gonna slide the hand up the wall, put a bit of pressure, push into the wall, feel those muscles engaged. Keep the engagement and then slide the hand down the wall. And then relax the muscles as we take the hand back up. Push the hand into the wall, engage the back, and slide the hand down. Great, so we're gonna want to activate the shoulder blades. This pushing, that, that pushing is really important in all directions. So we're going to take the hand back up and we're going to push into it and we're just going to start to slide the hand out to the side. Draw it in, then push the hand into the wall and slide the hand away. Basically just doing a little bit of a workout. Move in all directions. Explore your wall as if you're going to make a full circle. Move it down. <laughs> Wooden wall is probably not the best to explore this with. So I'm not just kind of like, oh, look at my wall, it's so pretty. I'm pushing my hand a lot into my, kind of like rubbing it. And it's that pushing movement that's gonna get my shoulder blade, my shoulder girdle really warm. It's gonna activate 
all the muscles around that area. For those su suffering or struggling with stiff shoulders, sometimes little muscle activations can rehab it and bring some healing energy, and strength, and balance back into the shoulder. So it's important we go in all directions, over to the left, down low, up to the top. How's that going? Yeah, it looks like we're painting. We're all Picasso this morning. <laughs> And then go back eventually to the center. Leaving some beautiful fingerprints on our walls. <laughs> and then just let that arm rest and take a moment, let it rest either to the floor or to the knee and just feel that side, feel that shoulder and the work that has happened so far. Perfect, and then we're gonna do the other side. So taking the hand against the wall, pushing upwards. And then letting the arm come all the way down, still with a little bit of push. Pushing upwards. And then sliding the hand down. I know, it's not what you expected to do this morning in your yoga class, rubbing your hand up and down a wall. But it's a nice technique to awaken those shoulders and bring a little bit of strength and mobility. Two very important components. Gentle pushing. And then try to get the shoulder to move in all of its directions. So it can move across. I like to think of it kind of like a half circle and you want to just move around that half circle. Pushing out, drawing back in. There should be a moment where you also feel a stress when you reach across diagonally. Making sure you're still pressing. It's easy to give up and just start to stroke the wall. We're not petting it. <laughs> Moving our hands. Beautiful. There you go around the opposite way too. All right. Make sure you've done all directions. Perfect. And then we're just going to let the shoulders settle back. Soften, relax. And then we're going to turn away from the wall. So we're going to come back forward. And this time you're going to go all the way against it. So you're going to back yourself up. Boop, boop, boop. And you're going to be sitting flat against it. And we're going to take the arms against the wall. So lifting the arms up like cactus. Lengthen your tailbone so that you're not arching your back. Let your head rest on the wall too. And then I want you to press your arms and the backs of your hands against the wall until you feel a contraction. Let's hold that for five. Don't breathe. Uh, don't breathe. Yes, breathe. Don't hold your breath. Four, three, two, and one. Now you're going to wrap your arms across the chest and then just open up the shoulder blades. Notice which arm is on top so we can swap it around each time. All right, let's open the arms again. Press the arms back into the wall. You can still breathe. Don't hold your breath, but hold it for five. Keep pushing. Four, three, maybe even feel the shoulder blades squeeze together. Two, and one. Wrap the arms across the chest. Opposite arm on top. Good. Let's do two more. One on each side. Take the arms against the wall. Pressing in, pressing in, pressing in, pressing in. Feel everything contract. And then release. Wrap the arms around across the chest like you're giving yourself a hug. One more time. Arms against the wall. Pressing back, pressing back, pressing back. You want to feel the elbows, the backs of your hands, the forearms. And give yourself a hug. Oh, beautiful. Let's take the arms, if you can, all the way up. 
if some of us can't take them all the way straight up, just take them to whatever degree you can and then press there. And press, press, press. Not easy. You should feel slight warm sensation in your body. Three, two, one. Drop the arm ah, all the way down and just rest for a moment. Feel that warm energy that's circulating around the upper body and the shoulders. Good, and let's just scoot away from the wall for a moment. Come back forward and inhale, take the arms back up to the sky and see if that feels any different. We reach the arms up and then take the arms down. If you don't have any shoulder stiffness, you might be like, oh, it just feels like my arms are a little tired now. <laughs> but if you do have, maybe it feels different. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it feels the same. Just noticing that. All right. Let's come back over onto all fours again. And this time we're going to keep our hips above our knees and we're going to walk our hands towards the top of the mat puppy dog pose keeping those arms engaged we're going to start to sink the chest and forehead to the floor a little stretch here mm, again feel that maybe the triceps are spinning in towards each other just slightly it's super subtle so that we get a little bit more spacious not so much impinging through the shoulders one more breath. We're slowly going to roll ourselves back up. So you might have your chair or your coffee table or the side of your sofa nearby. If not, as the toes come up into your down dog, you walk your hands back towards your feet into your forward fold. Just let your body drape there for a moment. Drop the weight into your heels and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Shoulders lift up, pull back, ah, and slide them down. How are they feeling? All right, we're going to go over to our chair, or if you're like me, wheel it over, bring your chair to you. We're just needing an edge surface that we can let the arm hang off of. So I'm going to use my chair, and I'm leaning over with my hands on the chair, hips are lifted. Make sure your back is straight, not rounding, so we're not gonna pull the back. And you wanna find an edge so that one arm can dangle free. And then all we're gonna do, we're gonna try to swing the arm and really loosen it up. Your shoulder wants to be completely relaxed, maybe looking to the floor so the neck can be completely relaxed. And that arm is just swinging. Once we build the momentum, once we create some momentum and get it moving, then it should almost take over. It just moves by itself. Completely relaxed. And then bring it back to stillness. So slow it down and eventually stopping. Then like you're picking something up from the floor, just with your shoulder, you're gonna lift up, pull back, and then let the hand fall, let it drop. Pull the shoulder up and then let it fall, let it drop. Good, let's do this one more time. Lift the shoulder up, let it fall, let it drop. Lifting the shoulder up, Ooh, let it fall. One more time. Good, then make some big circles with the shoulder. And that hand is reaching below the left hand, that's why using a surface hard to do this on the floor. If you didn't have a surface, I guess you could do it kind of standing over, bending over. Surface is just going to keep your back protected and then make those circles in the opposite direction. Beautiful. And then again, swinging, but swing your arm as much as you can. Maybe get your leg out of the way. <laughs> swing it around as much as you can. Forward and back, forward and back. Make it easy if that's not feeling great in your shoulder. Hmm, perfect. And then let it rest, let it dangle, slow it down. And then slowly pick it up, place it onto your surface so both hands are on your surface. Walk your feet away and take a little down dog. 
walking the feet away so that as you stretch the chest sinks down and we get that beautiful stretch through the back body good let's walk our feet back towards the chair and just take a moment to stand up to release the back we can even take our hands through the lower back pull the shoulders elbows together inhale lift and open and exhale let's go back down to the other side wheel my chair over so you have a better view. Okay. Protect your back. Bend your knees too if you need to. Come over to the side so you have a free arm. Let it get loose. And we're starting from the beginning. Just dangle the arm. So bringing some love into our shoulders. That's it. So we're not swinging it really. We're just letting it dangle on its own. Yeah, feel the difference of that because you do less. There's less effort here. When the arm is kind of dangling, it just swings a little bit by itself. Less effort. Okay, and then stopping the dangle. Like we're picking something up from the floor, but you're just moving from your shoulder and the shoulder blade pull up and then let it drop. Pull up, just like we did at the beginning. Like you're going up an elevator. It's nice and slow and then the elevator falls. <sighs> to the floor. Three more times. Good. And you should feel like a little squeeze is happening at the top. Just is happening from your shoulder blade and the shoulder. And then pull up. Good. One more. Perfect. And then make some circles with that shoulder blade. Letting the hand reach as close to the floor as you can. That's the reason why we're using the edge of the surface so that arm can really reach down, stretching out back. Reverse it around. Opposite way. Perfect. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to the swings. Now this time we are swinging it intentionally. Back and forth. Get as much momentum as you can. Whew. Again, to see how that feels in your shoulder, if that's okay or not. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Let the arm rest. Perfect. Walk your hands back to your edge of your seat, chair, table. Walk back into a little down dog, stretching the back. Stretching the arms, stretching the legs. Walk your feet towards your chair. Mm. Slowly, we're going to roll up. One vertebra at a time. Mm. And as you get to the top, close your eyes, standing in your Tadasana. And bring awareness to the shoulders, to the upper back. Just taking note of everything that you feel. Perhaps they are feeling a little bit more relaxed, like there's more space between them and your ears. Perhaps the chest feels a little bit more full and open. If we take the arms up to the sky again, inhale, bringing the palms together. Is the range of movement different? Exhale, bring the hands back down all the way to your sides sides of your legs. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. Palms lift up as we reach the hands to the sky. Exhale. Hands down. Inhale. Reach the hands up. This time, bring the palms together. Draw the hands down to your heart. And give yourself a bow. Thank you so much for your practice. I hope it's helped. I'm very interested to hear some feedback if that did help or not. <laughs> and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Namaste. Till Thank next you, Amy. week. It definitely helped. Mine felt better even this morning from yesterday. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Good. Benefit. Yay. Have a good one. See you later in the day. See you later. Bye.